Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's start lecture 24. In the last lecture, we ended with that discussion on uh, plotting water lines. If we go back to our last lecture, uh, we saw uh, two lines. One belongs to uh, lines involving O2 and one involve H2, uh, rather evolution of H2. Now, we see that uh, 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 this is one line, this is second line, third, fourth. And both the lines, all four lines, uh, for example, this two line are merging because they have the same slope minus 0 0.0591. Here also they are merging on the same line, this one as well as this one. So, here the slope was minus 0 0.0591 is basically slope, this is also slope. Now, as we have said that these four lines are equally important and these four lines are to be merged with uh, nickel uh, those three lines what we have, we have drawn as well as the stability regions of those phases. Uh, here what we will do, uh, we will try to merge them. So, this was nickel, this is pH and we are trying with, uh, so, we saw that this slope was also minus 0 0.0591 slope, this is N i o or N i o h whole 2 rather I put it like this because they are have they are basically belonging to the same family. So, h this is N i plus plus region and this is N i this is 0 0.25 and if we extend this line, this will be 0 0.11 volt. This is one set, the another set is reactions involving this is 0, let us say this is 0, slope was 0 0.0591 of course, we have a pH 7 and here the pH is 6.09 when activity of nickel plus plus equal to 1 and there is one more line which is which has a slope 0 0.0591 with the minus sign. Of course, we have seen that below this line acidic reactions those are uh, reactions uh, for the acidic part would happen and on the right side uh, basic reactions would happen. And then if we club them, So, let me draw the water lines, this is 0, let us say this is 0,
this region is Ni plus plus, this is Ni and now before this beyond this and then here also we get this reaction on the left side this line H 2. Now, we know the regions in nickel system N i plus plus N i and N i O or N i O H hole 2, but we have to also see the regions this is 1.227 volt, this is 0 volt, this is 0 volt. We have to also see that uh, on the right side for example, if we consider this particular pH right side of it and left side of it what are the phases that could be stable or that would be the spontaneity. Similarly, here also if we see the right side and left side we have to see for example, if we reach to this position and this position what are the phases that could be possible that will be decided by the reaction equilibrium at that point because uh, this particular diagram also talks about the equilibrium between different phases. So, let us consider and that is what we once we finalize okay, what are the phases that are possible, then we can also finalize what are the uh, phases that would be existing between this line and this line as well as what could be possible above this line and below this line as well as here above this line or below this line. So, in order to do that we have to see the reactions. First for example, consider uh, what reactions is possible uh, at this point which is the equilibrium point. Now, the reaction that is possible is O 2 plus 4 H plus plus 4 E equal to 2 H 2 O. Now, once it reaches equilibrium, so since I am not changing the potential, I am changing the pH. So, if we are here and if we are here both the cases the pH values are different. Now, if I consider that oxygen partial pressure remains one atmosphere and H 2 O definitely it will be always considered to be pure and then it does not have it its activity is considered to be one. Then depending on O H values this pH values I can get different concentration of H plus ion. So, left side pH is low less, but O H ion sorry this should be H plus ion H plus ion concentration is more and here we have pH is more. So, H plus ion concentration is less. So, they are inversely proportional because there is a minus minus log of H plus ion concentration is nothing but the pH. So, now at this position if we have high amount of H plus in order to maintain equilibrium the reaction should move this way. So, if we move this way so left point left side of this particular point we will always have H 2 O and similarly on the right side since pH is more. So, H plus ion concentration is less in order to maintain equilibrium the reaction should move this way. So, beyond at this point we have oxygen evolution. Okay. So, more amount of oxygen would generate. Similarly, if we have if we consider this so at this point similarly on the uh, neutral or basic region also depending on the pH for example, here we have pH more H plus ion concentration is less here pH less H plus ion concentration is more. Now, here is a problem the problem is we cannot though we see that this particular situation holding true, 
but here when the pH is more than 7, we do not have the existence of H plus ion. So, we have the existence of OH minus ion. So, if we have H plus ion to be less, so OH minus ion concentration would be more and here H plus ion concentration is more, so OH minus ion concentration would be less and when the pH is more than 7, the reaction is H plus plus 2 H 2 O plus 4 E equal to 4 O H minus. Now, at this point we see that the O H minus ion concentration is less. Sorry, we put a wrong connotation here. So, P H is less the H plus ion concentration is more. So, we see that this point we have higher O H minus ion concentration compared to this point, this point. So, if we have higher O H minus the reaction would move this way. So, we will have oxygen generation, oxygen generation and so the oxygen generation would be always on top of this line, this line and below that we have H 2 O. Okay. So, now let us see what happens uh, for the reactions which are not involving oxygen rather H plus and OH minus uh, and uh, of course, on the line uh, right side of 7 we have H 2 O involved, but interestingly if we consider this point again just I forgot to mention that we have less amount of OH minus. So, then the reaction should go this way, so would, which would increase the pH level of the system. So, that means it will also uh, increase the OH minus ion concentration trying to de increase the OH minus ion concentration. Now, let us come back to uh, uh, these two points. Now, here pH is more and pH is less here. So, H plus ion concentration is more and H plus ion concentration is less here. So, now if we consider this reaction, so then at this position since the H plus ion concentration is more, so the reaction would this way go down the right side. So, gaseous hydrogen would generate below this line. Now, if I consider this point there H plus ion concentration is less, so the reaction would try to go this way. So, we have more and more H plus ion concentration and then it will increase the acidity of the water system. Now, similarly uh, we can have similar argument here uh, uh, this and this point we can have pH high sorry pH is less H plus ion concentration is more OH minus concentration is less and here pH is high H plus ion concentration is less and OH minus ion concentration is more because pH and pOH are inversely proportional. So, I can say sorry not pH and pOH rather H plus ion concentration is inversely proportional to 1 minus So, this is the relation we have, so that is what we have this particular correlations. Now, if I take these things in this particular equations, if we consider at this point first there H plus OH minus concentration is less. So, uh, this concentration is less, so that in order to maintain that concentration the reaction should go on the right side. So, hydrogen evolution again starts. So, below this line we have hydrogen evolution and 
at this point we have H plus OH minus concentration is more. So, this concentration is more. So, the reaction should go this way. So, water we will get water. So, that means below this line we have H 2 gas and above this point above this line this water line we have O 2 evolution and within this zone we have H 2 O. So, this is the basic mode of constructing this pore bed diagram. Now, what is the importance of specifying that which one would be O 2 and which one would be where would would we get O 2 uh, gas evolution and where would we get hydrogen gas evolution that would be decided by the potential pH coordinate during polarization. So, we will talk about polarization later on. Polarization for the time being let us understand this polarization. Polarization is nothing but the shift in potential from any stable potential. Now, here we are talking about equilibrium. So, it is basically the equilibrium potential. Now, if we somehow I am here and I am here. Now, at this point my potential pH is this and at this point my potential pH is this. Now, here once since the pH I am not changing so, I am changing the potential once I go from lower to higher potential once I cross this particular line then we would get oxygen evolution and we do get bubbling when we do experiment during polarization. Polarization means if this is my stable potential this point is stable potential or the equilibrium potential if I go to positive side we call it anodic potential anodic polarization. If we go to negative side we get cathodic polarization. So, during cathodic polarization in this case we get water and if we do anodic polarization from the equilibrium polar potential we get oxygen evolution. Similarly, here if you see this is the equilibrium potential at that pH value this is the pH value. So, now if we go anodic polarization that means, the polarization is taking place from the positive side from the on the positive side from the equilibrium potential. So, then we get water and if we go below that then we get hydrogen evolution that is what happened during polarization. So, we will talk about that later on. So, for the time being that is what we have to make sure that which region is water line water and which region is gas. So, on top of this particular line where it involves oxygen we have oxygen evolution and that this line which involves H 2 evolution. So, below this line we get H 2 or the gas evolution H 2 gas evolution. So, the final diagram we have to do it this value this way this is pH this is E Let me do the hydrogen line. This is basically hydrogen line. So, below this line we have hydrogen evolution and this we call it oxygen line. Above that we have oxygen evolution and between this. So, let me draw it with between this we get H 2 O and this zone
this zone is N i O N i O H hole 2, this zone is N i plus plus and this zone is N i. So, this is my complete Pobe diagram. for or we can say for nickel. So, it is basically indicating H 2 O system. Fine. So, we have done uh, this is basically the simplified version in nickel there are other reactions involved and we can call it as corrosion zone. This is immune, this is passive. Now, let us take one more example. So, here I will not draw the diagrams, I will not do the, do the calculations, I will leave it to you to, the, to do the calculations, but there is a small crux here. So, I will discuss that crux here, because whenever we do take equilibrium, we have to club it into two segments is basically we have to see those equations the reactions and accordingly we will choose we block them actually we will segregate them into, uh, 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 into according to the rea reaction species that are involved in those reactions. So, best example is aluminum. So, in aluminum system we can have following reactions and here I am taking one extra species, then you will understand why I am saying that, that reactions after looking at the reactions you have to block them, you have to segregate them in segments. So, aluminum these are the reactions you can consider, then 3 Al I am just writing the equations first. And then of course, we have water equations So, we have written all those equations. Now, you see that uh, this 1, 2, 3, these 3 equations that may can be clubbed together, because here we see 3 products, 1, 3 spaces rather, 1, 2 and then 3. See this H plus and H 2, we are not considering the species uh, here, because we have to see the metal reactions first the way we have seen in case of nickel and then we will talk about water reactions. These three can be clubbed, this is club number 1 and the another clubbing that is possible uh, if we see 4, 5, the clubbing could be this 2. Now, First, first 3 we see that aluminum and Al plus 3 and Al 2 O 3 are the reactants or the products that involve aluminum. And in the second set we see aluminum Al 2 O 3 
and AlO2 minus these three spaces are involved involving aluminum. So, second set we do not have Al plus 3 and the first set we do not have AlO2 minus. So, that means the first set whenever we see those phase boundaries or rather stability diagrams then that will involve only those the equilibrium between all through all three phases like Al 3 plus Al and Al 2 or 3 and the second set would involve equilibrium between Al, Al 2 or 3 and Al O 2 minus and then you can have those data. Uh, you already have uh, the water data then only you need to have mu of Al 3 plus equal to minus 481 two zero zero joule per mole then mu zero L two O three equal to minus one six zero eight nine zero zero joule per mole and mu zero L O two minus equal to minus eight three nine eight zero zero joule per mole and remember mu zero L would be 0. So, once we have data and then H 2 O mu 0 H 2 O you can find out from previous lectures mu 0 H plus as well as mu 0 O H minus you can find it out from the previous lectures. Now, if we draw the Pobe diagram you will see that you will see that the first three set we will have diagram like this. So, here it is A L plus 3 plus A L and A L 2 O 3 and the second set we will have diagram you will have this diagram. So, you see that this indicates this line, this one indicates this line and this one indicates this line and here this one is nothing but this, this one is nothing but this and this one is nothing but this. So, if we club them you will see that the plot will come here minus and of course, you will have diagram for these four reactions. So, those diagrams since this will be much below this this is a very highly negative from this value you can find out you will see the this would be hydrogen line and then oxygen line would be above that this would be oxygen line. So, this is the complete Pobe diagram for aluminum H 2 O system. Only thing is you need to find out these values from these data and then plot it by doing this clubbing this two clubbing you should get it and another important aspect is here you will see the slope is decided by the number of electrons and number of hydrogen that are participating in the reaction which involves uh, potential and pH. So, let us stop here we will continue our discussion in our next lecture. Thank you.